Well, good evening. This is Truck Sleeper Reviews. We are checking out the new uh, Athern GP7 Genesis Tsunami 2 with LEDs. Good looking model. Here's the uh, side shot. You see all the under truck detail, the sanding lines, speedometer, the leaf spring pack, Bloomberg type. Uh, B trucks Short hood short high hood Cab interior on the inside you can see through the window Cab numbers It's got the missing uh, I Guess it's a fairing that goes between the side sill and the uh, fuel tank That's how it was back when Chessie had them. It's a former Baltimore, Ohio engine as you can tell by the uh, spark arresters on the exhaust and the way the horn is, this locomotive has long hood forward. Jesse did not put the F, actually they did, a little F designate in the front, it was the builder's plate. All the grilling, radiator fan intakes, the uh, air intakes for the uh, actual box in the engine good stuff switch to the front here as you can see it's got the MU lines it's got the train line hose couple cut levers it's got them cheap plastic uh, Knuckle couplers, which will be changed out eventually. Probably gonna put um, either KDs or uh, sergeants on them. Cab number 5610. All logos have done been done very nice. The paints been nice and crisp. Also on the uh, long hood end, you can just see the uh, handbrake ratchet. Nicely done piece of detail. As we come along the fireman side, you got your truck detail again, sanding lines, leaf spring packs. It's got all your uh, air piping coming from the air tanks, which is uh, between the truck and the uh, fuel tank. First generation diesels. I like them, sound good, non turbo. I'm gonna spin this around a little more. You also have separately applied windshield wipers, safety tread on the walkways. On the short hood end, got the same thing it's got the rubber MU hoses rubber train line hose nicely done very nicely done I like it if you look down I don't know if you can tell but all the steps on the um, going up to the um, Top the battery boxes to get into the cab. They're see-through, ash metal. Separate applied grab irons. One thing I didn't like is there's a little bit of waviness to the handrails if you look down from the top. Not a big deal. Not a deal breaker. On the way the model looks, I'll give it a 97 and a half, 98 out of 100. So let's go ahead and. Hook up the old DCC and see how she sounds.
Alright, that was the startup sequence with the uh, prime mover. We're going to hit the bell. Horn. Grade crossing sequence. Headlights on dim. Let's see what she looks like when you put her in gear. Nice bright headlight when you put her forward. Same thing with reverse. But I don't have enough room to show you reverse. I'm gonna back her up a little bit. It's only a nine inch piece of straight track. When you change directions, she blows the horn. Um, when she goes to move, you hear the uh, independent brake release. Let's go ahead and see what she, uh, what other functions are there. Radio chatter on, I believe it's uh, seven. Picks up the defect detector. Number eight's mute. Number nine, I don't even remember what they are. It's not functions that I mess with a whole lot. I just run it and sometimes crash it, but. What my goal is but she sounds really good I'm going to put my finger in front of her and I'm gonna get her up for the RPMs okay found something embarrassing my big fat fingers out in the way this sound and we're going to talk about paint for a second. Okay, sound's killed. We're going to talk about paint. This locomotive has very crisp, nice paint lines between the uh, the B&O Enchantment Blue, the Chessie Vermilion, and the chessy yellow. There's no bleed over. There's no, um, there's no, uh, waviness in the lines. No missed spots. There's a couple things I have noticed with this model. Is, there's a couple, um, there's a couple things iffy on the paint like on the lift of the coupler uh, or the lift rings on the roof here I don't know if you can zoom in there we go looks like it has a little bit of orange bleeding through but overall it's not bad there's a spot of orange right there on the sand filler 
patch on the long hood end. I don't know if y'all can see that. Overall, not bad. Not bad. Just a couple little tiny minor things. Oh, yeah. The hood sunshades, or the cab sunshades, are black. I don't think they're supposed to be that color. I think they're supposed to be the uh, B&O Enchantment Blue, or Enhancement Blue. Whatever it is. There's another spot on the, um, on the roof that's kind of goofy where that cup of, that lift, lift ring is. But, you can tell, cab sunshades are black, like they've been replaced. It's kind of weird. But, not bad really. A couple of spots I've noticed in the paint where the orange came through and the blue where the uh, doors meet. But I would just imagine that that's how it was when these things were painted. So, overall, get a 97.5, 98 out of 100 on it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. Not mad at all. It's a good looking motor. Thank you. Have a good night.